Hello, and in this video we are going to be looking at the oxidising properties of potassium permanganate. In this video you will need about 5 to 10 grams of potassium permanganate, distilled water, sodium hydroxide and alcohol to be oxidised. I chose methanol. In the reaction sodium hydroxide is used as a catalyst for greater oxidation speed. First, I prepared my sodium hydroxide solution by dissolving approximately 5 grams of sodium hydroxide in 100 ml of distilled water. Added about 6 ml of this to a test tube. I then added an equal amount of my alcohol that I was oxidising to form a liquid suspension. Note, for the reaction to be successful, the alcohol must be at least partially dissolved. I then added excess potassium permanganate to my alcohol base mixture. On addition, purple streaks filled the water creating a nice visual display. I left the mixture for about 10 minutes for the alcohol to be completely oxidised by the potassium permanganate. After leaving the reaction for a while I returned to see that the mixture had turned brown. I then proceeded to filter the liquid from the excess potassium permanganate that had not reacted. I was left with a yellow slash brown urine coloured mixture. The methanoic acid could be extracted by distillation or reaction with the base to form a formate salt. The colour of the mixture was caused by the formation of MnO2 during the reaction. Potassium permanganate practically is not the best oxidizer of primary alcohols as it has the tendency, due to its properties, to over oxidize alcohols, meaning we get a very low yield of the carboxylic acid.